Hello. About three months ago, I started planting my early sweet potatoes, and I've been using these 10 inch pots. Um, but the problem with pots is uh, once you empty them out, usually the plant's finished, the potatoes finished. So if you empty them out prematurely, um, and there's lots of small potatoes on there, you finish up kicking yourself, don't you? You've done it, you've, you've jumped the gun, you've emptied it out too soon and now you've ruined the plant. Um, but this might be a way of avoiding that. Plastic shopping bags. Now there is a video on the channel that shows me doing this. Uh, these need to have holes in by the way, but you, there is a video on this channel showing me doing this. So what I did was, I planted one early seed potato in a shopping bag and sat it in a 10 inch pot. Now I'll just bring one into the shot now and show you how it's doing after three months uh, growing like this. Okay, actually lined this pot with two shopping bags you can see both handles. You need to grip both handles, grip the pot with your feet and then lift up on the shopping bag handles. Now what we're trying to do is get this potato plant out of this pot without actually destroying the root ball. Well, I think you can see we've done that. Okay, the root ball's still there. Now what I'm going to do now is we're going to put this up on a table, get it wire, then we're going to pull this shopping bag back and without disturbing this potato plant, see if there's any potatoes on it. If there are some big ones we might want to take them. If they're all still small we'll pop it back in the pot. But just let me adjust the camera and get this up a bit higher so I can show you the next, uh, the next step. Okay, so as you can see, we've lifted it up onto this table, We're a bit higher now. Let's see if we can take this shopping bag off without disturbing the root ball. That was the plan. Okay, there we are. That's the root ball fully exposed. But undamaged and not a potato inside. Uh, so had you emptied this out you'd have been sorely disappointed and your potato would be finished. Okay there would be no way of getting that back in but as you can see this root ball has stayed tight. Um, I think we've a small potato down here showing. Uh, what I've found through experience is that most of the potatoes in pots are in the middle of the pot you don't get that many at the side until the pots, uh, until the middle is overloaded and then the potatoes seem to want to come out the edges of the pot. Um, so this one will need to go back in again uh, for a few more weeks. Um, but we haven't disturbed it as you can see so that, that isn't an issue. Uh, we haven't wasted it, had we emptied this out, well that would have been the end of it but we haven't. Okay, and that's the idea of the shopping bags. Um, so we'll pop this one back in and while we've got it out we can see that it's quite dry. Um, I've been watering these potatoes uh, but obviously not enough. So we'll pop this one back in and because all the other pots are on the same uh, watering cycle so to speak, I'll water them all today. Okay so we'll wrap it back up, pop it back in its pot and we'll visit it again in a few weeks time.
How easy was that? Okay, so the first potato we're going to look at is Annabelle. Annabelle was a set aside potato. Um, so it wasn't bought as a seed potato, it was bought to eat, but I, I simply set some aside. Look how easy it is to roll the bag off to expose the, the root ball. And if there's any potatoes external that look that have any size about them, we'll take them. And the smaller ones we'll leave to grow on. Okay, I'll just turn this round to make sure you can see this. We'll take this one. And just ease it out. Ooh. We'll take this one. We'll just turn it round nice and slowly. That looks like a nice one there. We'll take that one. And take, oh, we may have another here. And that one, I think we'll take that one as well. Isn't as big, but we'll take it. Okay. Now, I can still see there are small potatoes showing, but they're too small to take. And I know there will be some potatoes in the middle of this root ball. But what I intend to do now is tease this bag back up, these two shopping bags. As you can see there's been very little disturbance of that plant and this is going back in the pot now to grow on. So from that one potato, Annabelle, which was a set-aside potato, we've harvested four potatoes, okay? And we haven't destroyed the plant, it's still growing, and we've got four potatoes. That's not a bad start. This potato is Rocket. This was a seed potato. Um, and we'll see what we can get off Rocket without breaking up the root ball. Blimey. Well, I think we'll have this one. This one seems a bit bigger than the one nearest. I think we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one for the time being. Because if we're looking for a meal, remember we've already got four potatoes. Oh! <laughs> That's a rocket! <laughs> right. And there's another one round this back side I'm going to show you that I'm going to take. This one here, you can see that one, we're going to leave that one. We'll take this one, it feels a fairly sizable potato, right? And we'll tie, tease these bags back up, simple as. And we'll lift this back in the pot, and Rocket lives to fight another day, and we've got four potatoes. That's four potatoes from Rocket. So that's eight we have in total. So the next potato we're going to look at is Charlotte. Charlotte was a set aside potato. We'll see if we can get anything off Charlotte. But we have enough for a meal off those two, to be honest. Those are fairly sizable potatoes. Right, nothing on this side. Spin it round. Oh, we'll get one Charlotte there. It's not a bad potato. And we'll have this boy as well. Two Charlottes. Okay. We'll whip this bag back up. 
and pop this back in the pot to grow on. To Charlotte. And last of all, Red Duke of York. Coming from this side, I think. This is Red Duke of York. Lift him out the bag, out the pot. And let's see what Red Duke of York has to offer. Turn him around. One, two, and no more Red Duke of York. So we'll have two Red Duke of York. Pull the bag back up. Pop Red Duke of York back in the pot. And he lives to fight another day.